Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to another Fortnite news video anyways today we have patch 6.02 and this is the patch notes video for it. Now if you guys are interested in leak skins or in the item shop specifically you guys can check out the separate video that should be posted in the comment section or in the link in the description below if you guys are interested. But that is besides the point we're going to talk about the new limited time mode disco domination. We've been talking about it for a week or two now and now it's getting old to talk about it but now it's finally here and we're going to talk about it so smile. Uh, but either way, so basically it is a 32v32 mode and it's like how the other 50v50 modes are where you have two separate uh, bus paths and you jump out of the plane, choose where you want to land, and then a circle appears in the middle of the map between the two teams. That way you guys can determine that it's a fair fight and you guys can go there and kind of have the same advantages of each other. So for this circle, there will be five domination or disco dance floors where you guys have to control. Now, in order to control them, you have to emote on them, do a dance, and basically after it turns blue for your team, it'll make a little sound effect like a jolly music for you. Um, now, if it's an enemy team dance floor, you have to contest it first, which you have to stand on it for a little bit, and then afterwards you can capture it by doing a dance or emote or whatever you want to call it. And that's basically how you play. In my opinion, it's not really the greatest mode in the world because of mobility. You have to do a lot of walking. To me, there's just not enough loot to go around either uh but either way there's three circles in total the third circle uh you do not respawn in so you want to make sure that you're kind of keeping yourself in check when you do die in this mode you do not drop your items but you do drop your ammo so that's really all you got going for you and then when you do die you respawn in the air and then you can fly to wherever you want so i'm not too sure where it decides to respawn you but it kept respawning me over tilted which is on the west side of the map which is where my bus team was so maybe it kind of depends on where your bus path was not too sure on that uh so the more friendly players you have on the dancing floor too the faster it will capture and on the right side of your screen you can see the five dance floors and you also can press your map to see each dance point too uh you can tell when somebody's contesting it as it'll tell you in the bottom left corner of your screen and also the idea is to get the 100 points or 100% first before the enemy team. But after each circle, like when the circle starts to move in, then the disco dance floors disappear and you do not get any points in the meantime. You also can respawn during those, but it's only the third circle where you can't respawn in. Now you can also have your glider reactivate during this. So if you wanted to jump off a mountain and use your glider, you can do that. You don't really have to do much work. So I mean, kind of right now, I guess mobility wise, it's fine all in all. But to me, I still feel like there needs to be more rifts or something happening, more loot to go around. I don't know, that's just me. And also, you cannot build above the dance floor. You can build the walls like around it to make a little fort, but that's all you really have going on. So you have to make sure you're looking out above you because that's the main way they're really going to kill you or can get to you easily, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that's besides the point. Either way, we're going to dive right into the weapons and items. So we're going to talk about the quad launcher. So if you guys don't already know, we feature it in a different video. But the quad launcher is a rocket launcher that can hold up the four rockets at a time. It shoots one after another, after another, after another. It comes in an epic and legendary variant where it does 80 and 84 base damage per rocket. And then it has a 300 unit explosion radius and can be found in chests, supply drops, and vending machines. So to me, it's not really that crazy. It's nice, I would say. So it can be a bit annoying to deal with in my opinion so i don't know you guys tell me i saw a twitter clip of it kind of looked a bit annoying like a nuisance but i don't know uh it seems like it could be easy to counter in my opinion but i i haven't really had enough experience with it to determine that also we have the port of fortress in the news it has returned and can be looted in game the availability like the floor drop rate from it or like just being looted i guess has been lowered from 2.43 percent to 1.83 percent and then the rest for loot drop rate adjustments we have a lot happening here so they decreased the common pistol drop chance from 5.8 percent to 5.4 5.47 percent and then we also increased the epic bolt action sniper rifle drop chance from 0.33 to 0.42 then we also decrease the rare semi-auto sniper from 0.92 to 0.71 then increase the epic heavy sniper rifle from 0.33 to 0.4 and then we increase the legendary heavy sniper rifle from 0.07 to 0.13 and then decrease the rare grenade launcher from 1.45 to 0.99 and we also increase the epic rocket launcher to point oh from 0.59 to 0.66 i see what they did there 
Um, we also had the increased legendary rocket launcher drop chance from 0.08 to 0.21, an increased epic guided missile drop chance from 0.11 to 0.2, and then for a legendary one, we have 0.03 to 0.05. Note the overall number of explosive weapons and snipers in a given game has not changed. However, there is a greater distribution of rarity and variance. And then we also had some bug fixes where they removed the change that was inadvertently int introduced to 6.01, which caused uh, Bonesy to bark more than was intended. So if you guys notice in game, uh, Bonesy was barking more for whatever reason. And they also fi fixed an issue that caused moving circles to be closer to the previous safe zone than intended. And that's really it that we have going on for you guys. So either way, that is it for Fortnite 6.02. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below what you guys think. And man, I am just like slurring all my words together. And also hit that subscribe button if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more. And lastly, lastly, Man, lastly, we're going to talk about how you guys, when you guys buy V-Bucks, you guys can use me as your supporter creator. You can plug All Out J into your uh, supporter creator little tab, and you guys can support me by giving me 5% of whatever you buy. I believe you have to buy up to $100, like if you spend $100 in the next three months on V-Bucks, I get 5% of that, which is $5, so yeah. Support me if you're just buying V-Bucks. If you don't want to support me, like if you only want to support me for a little bit, you can change which creator you support too. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to check out the other video. And bye bye